It is a pleasure to send greetings to the Atlantic Council's annual gala and to the recipients of the Distinguished Leadership Awards being conferred, especially on former Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton, who is receiving the Distinguished International Leadership Award. It was a conference in South Africa sponsored by the Atlantic Council's Africa Center, along with the Brainhurst Foundation, just over a year ago, which although we did not know at the time, played a significant role in assuring respect for constitutional order and a peaceful transition of power in Malawi. An even more significant role was played by Secretary Hillary Clinton. The support of the US Department of State under her direction and represented in Malawi by Ambassador Jeanette Jackson was really critical. I think maybe it was a unique situation in Africa to have three women in positions of senior leadership being able to work together to determine the future path of a nation. It was therefore also a great honor to host Secretary Hillary Clinton on a visit to Malawi in August last year, the first by a US Secretary of State. It was a pleasure to show Secretary Clinton firsthand what a great nation Malawi is. The restoration of US assistance under Secretary Clinton's leadership, including the previously suspended Millennium Challenge Cooperation Compact, will help us continue on our journey to development, fueled by the hard work of Malawians across the country to make a better tomorrow for their children. That hard work has only just begun, but there's a wealth of opportunities in Malawi for those who wish to invest here and work here. I note that in addition to the International Leadership Award there is also a Business Leadership Award. Well, to the winner of that award and to everyone else for that matter, I have a simple message, and that is that Malawi is open for business. And I would like to invite everyone to come, see, and engage as Secretary Clinton did during her term of office as Secretary of State. Let me once again offer my congratulations to Secretary Hillary Clinton, the other award recipients, and the leadership of the Atlantic Council. Thank you.